Professor Detlev Lohse teaches the physics of fluids at the University of Twente in the Netherlands. This research field includes all substances that can act like liquids. But can desert sand really be as dangerous as the movies portray it? There are recurring reports of people disappearing without a trace during a sandstorm. But only Detlev Loza believes that they are swallowed up by sand. He started to research the subject and came to a surprising conclusion. When dry sand is whirled up, objects can sink into it and vanish completely. A high-speed camera running at 2,000 images per second records this dramatic event. The ball bearing causes a thin jet of sand to fly upwards. It showers back down again as individual particles. With this experiment, Detlev Lohse has thrown out all the previous ideas about quicksand. Up to now, I thought there was no such thing as dry quicksand, only wet quicksand. It's well known that you can sink in wet sand. But we've shown that when you replace water with air, then the sand can become just as fine and unstable, and that objects can also disappear into this sand. And we've also examined exactly how these objects sink. What's important is the high pressure that arises at both sides of the object's entry point. Detlev Lohse and his Dutch team have known about this dynamic for a long time from their many experiments with water. What's known as a jet stream will also spurt out from a submerged metal surface. Bubbles form below the surface, but why does sand react in the same way that water does? What we see here are grains of sand. Normally, there are force chains between the grains of sand, which have been marked red, and they hold the sand together. They can be very long and very strong. The trick with the air bubble works by destroying the force chains. They become weakened. Let me cross these out. That makes the sand looser, less dense. The sand piles up and it becomes much more unstable. In the laboratory, researchers blow a current of air directly into the sand, which turns it into dangerous, dry quicksand. When it sinks to the floor, the naked eye can no longer distinguish it from normal, more solid sand. Even a lightweight ping-pong ball can sink 10 centimeters into the sand within seconds. As soon as the scientists burn the thread to which it's attached, it drops and disappears. But does the existence of dry quicksand in the laboratory spell potential danger for travelers in real deserts? unexpected discovery will force people to reassess the truth of reports that have been dismissed as just stories up until now. For example, the story of 50,000 soldiers sinking into the sands 2,500 years ago has always been held to be a legend. Now, scientists are beginning to think differently. It's a lot of reports. There are very many reports, Lawrence of Arabia, of course, about people who disappear in desert sand. And, given our results, I have no doubt that this happens. Personally, I have little interest in going into the desert and trying it out myself. But when the sand gets whirled up, and if the sand is fine enough, then this can happen. And I give a lot of credence to the reports in literature and in cinema. 